boring for us. Well, take a look at this video out of Florida. It shows 28 scientists in Clearwater formed a human chain to guide a dolphin out of a creek. The Clearwater Marine Aquarium says that rescuers had been keeping an eye on the dolphin since the start of the new year. But the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration decided it was in the animal's best interest to get out of there. And dolphins are protected by the Marine Mammal Protection Act. Now we've been talking about snow all day. It's going to move in here pretty soon. Yeah, overnight, it looks like we'll see. We'll probably be closer towards sunrise, like I mentioned. And, you know, it's going to be a little bit tricky. We're definitely going to see some accumulation. There may be some minimal impacts on the roads. Like I mentioned, elevated surfaces, bridges. Uh, maybe some rural areas, but overall, things are looking okay. It certainly looks okay right now outside in the city of hospitality, Xenia, Ohio. Look at those roads. They look dry as a bone, but might see a little bit of snow fall on those roads here soon enough. It's 29 degrees in Dayton. Looking at some clear skies, that's going to really allow the temperature to drop. And it feels like 23 with just a light wind out of the east, about 6 miles per hour. But we do have some of that snow and rain coming in, as I showed you earlier. It's not here now, but temperatures are below freezing pretty much everywhere at this point. Look at 25 in Springfield. Also, Richmond is 25 degrees. But you have to zoom out a little ways to actually see some snowfall. And what we see is all the way in Illinois at this point. But temperatures are going to be dropping. And then as we move into the next 24 hours, we're going to see those temperatures climb only to the mid-30s. But notice... When you start to see snow, temperatures are above freezing, so that's good news as far as traveling is concerned. So here's the snow pushing across Illinois, also parts of Iowa and Missouri. Notice, too, some rainfall, but as that temperature drops and as it gets closer, we will see a good chance for snow here for at least most of the morning and continuing a bit into the afternoon. So let's time it out for you here. The temperatures are on here, too, to give you an idea how warm it's going to be when the snow's falling. So overnight, increasing clouds. Here's a look at 4 a.m. And then Closer to sunrise, maybe slightly before or after, you'll start to see some snow moving in. And there's some dark color blues here, meaning it might look like a winter paradise as the snow is falling. But temperatures are going to climb above freezing soon after the sun rises. Look at this, even 33, 34 degrees. So you may see a little sticking in a few areas, but we are, again, expecting minimal impacts across the region because the temperature will be above freezing, the roads will likely be above freezing, and with the traffic moving with roads above freezing, whatever does stick like or whatever does fall likely won't stick very much. Again, though, if you're on elevated roadways, bridges, something like that, just be aware. But we're mainly looking at accumulation in yards, that sort of thing. Now, as we move into the after late afternoon and evening, the snow seems to go away with a, maybe a few flurries possible. And then we actually expect a few flurries to fall into early Sunday, or excuse me, into Monday morning. But Really, we're looking at tomorrow, again, one to two inches. Everyone's going to see a little something. Two inches is kind of the maximum there, but expect a bit of a snowy morning tomorrow. So be aware if you're going to church, mass, or something like that. Now, as we move into next week, we stay pretty cold. We don't change a lot in temperature, but we do expect another round of rain and snow on Wednesday. All right, thank you, Robert. New Center 7 has gotten a hold of drone video that shows the moments deputies arrested Dakota Pace. He's among the four inmate 